Hello, what's up? Welcome to another quick edit video. On this waterfall image, I want to apply a very dreamy look with strong warm color tones and just give this image some kind of Lord of the Rings wipe. For the editing, I will be using Adobe Photoshop and a lot of those adjustments will be done in the camera raw editor. So let's jump right into it. First off, let me change the profile to Adobe Standard just so I have some more control over the contrast. Then in the basics panel, I'm going to switch the white balance to cloudy. You can see this will slightly make the image colder, but I think this just looks a bit better. Right away, I want to add some dehaze since back there in the distance, the image is a little hazy and that should fix quite a bit here. Okay, much better. Also, I want to bring down the highlights all the way and add some contrast. Okay, and maybe let's introduce some whites. Nice. Now to work on the soft dreamy look, I simply can start by bringing down the texture. And this will already help quite a bit. Now let's also add some vibrance so we get some more saturated colors in here. And that's already it for those basic adjustments. A lot of the work here for this image will be done using local adjustments, so let's start with them. For the gradiated filters, you can see I have applied two outside of this image, and that just means all of the image is covered by them. With this gradiated filter on the right side, I want to target the shadows of the image and just make them a little brighter since for example, right here in the foreground, that's super, super dark and I think it just looks kind of strange this way. Of course, I cannot just push the exposure since this will affect everything, not only the shadows and thus we end up with overexposure. And for this reason, I'm going to activate the luminance range mask. And by using this slider right here, I can filter out certain luminance ranges that means I don't want the highlights to be affected at all. So I'm picking this pin right there and just drag it to the left. And this way, only the shadows up until the brighter midtones are affected by this change. So while we're at it, let's also increase the shadows for this gradiated filter. And you can see how only the selected luminance range changes. All right, nice, that looks so much better. Then let's work on the gradiated filter on the left side. And with this one, I kind of want to target the midtones of this image. So again, I'm activating the luminance range mask. And to target the midtones, I'm filtering out the shadows by dragging this pin to the right. And then let's filter out the highlights. Okay, now let's bring down the brightness of the midtones a little bit by dropping the exposure. That looks pretty good. Then let's work on the radial filters. Let's start at the top. And for this area up here, I want to add some more softness and some kind of glow. Usually I would go with increased blacks, but I think it would look a little bit weird up there. So let's just bring down the contrast. Now let's also work on the waterfall in the center. Right now you can see it's a little dark, so let's bring up the whites. Also, I want to increase the texture just to make those streaks a little more visible. And let's introduce some clarity. Okay, nice. Right now the water does look a little too bluish for my taste, so I can also increase the temperature to change that and this way the water looks a little more natural. Okay, then we have those two radial filters in the foreground left. With those two, I want to target the highlights of those rocks and make them a little more brighter. So I'm simply going to use the luminance range mask again. Let's activate it. And I just want to target the highlights. So let's bring up the black point right there. Somewhere in this range should be good and now let's just bring up the exposure and let's also increase the whites 
So let's do the same thing on this radial filter. You can see I already have activated the luminance range mask. Then let's bring up the exposure and the whites. All right, and that's it for the local adjustments. Let's continue doing the color grading. In the color mixer, I want to change the saturation a bit. I want the shot to be rather vibrant. So let's bring up the orange saturation and the yellow saturation. Let's see, maybe I'm dropping the greens to not overdo it. And let's also drop the aqua tones since we don't need them here. And the blue tones. Nice. Then also I am going to do some split toning, mainly for the highlights. And here I just want to have a warm look. So let's go with something in this range to give the highlights a golden color. Of course, I don't want to overdo the saturation here. All right, that looks really good. Then finally, let's sharpen this image in the details tab. And now we can open it up in Photoshop. And the very first thing I want to do is to introduce some glowing spots here. For this, I'm creating a new layer and switch the blending mode to hard light. Then by pressing B, I'm picking up the brush tool Let's change the brush color. I want to have some warmth in this color. So I'm not going with pure white. And also let's bring down the brush opacity. All right. And now I'm looking for those bright spots on the water surface. And here I'm going to add soft glow by just brushing over them a few times. And in this case, I'm not worried about overexposure. There will be overexposure, of course, but I think it just looks good in this case. Okay, maybe let's introduce some glow to the upper part. Then next, I want to do some more dodging and burning. So first, let me merge those two layers by selecting them and hitting Ctrl E. Then I'm creating a new layer, switch the blending mode to overlay. And to do the dodging and burning, as usual, I'm using the TK panel plugin which allows me to easily create luminosity masks. So first off, I want to make the waterfall a little brighter. And for this reason, I want to target the highlights. Let's see, I think this mask looks pretty decent. I just have applied it on our new layer. And then again with the brush tool and a little higher opacity, I'm going to brush over the waterfall. You can see this will make the image a lot better, but I'm still not really happy with it. So let's do this all over again. Let's create a new layer, switch blending mode to overlay. But instead of targeting the highlights, now I try to target the midtones. Let's see. I think this mask will work pretty good. Again, I just have applied the midtones luminosity mask on this new layer here. And again, with the white color and the brush tool, I'm going to brush over this waterfall. And you can see this works really, really good. Okay, nice. And let's merge everything again. And finally, I want to check the Nick Collection plugin. So let's head to Filter, Nick Collection, Color Effects Pro 4. First off, I'm going with the polarization effect just to make the colors a little nicer. So let's play around with the rotate slider and just bring up the strength here. That looks pretty good. Now let's add another filter right away. And I want to go for a soft look. So I'm going with the classical soft focus. And let's see, this one looks really good. Maybe let's bring down the strength a bit. All right, let's apply it like that. Okay, I'm really happy with this. Now I could try to work on those autumn colors a little more. Therefore, let's create a selective color adjustment layer. And here, let's target the yellow tones and just reduce the cyan tones in here, which will make those yellows even stronger. That did work pretty good. 
And I think at this point I'm actually done with the editing here. So I hope this was interesting and helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. And thank you so much for watching this video.